Yang berhormat Datuk Seri Dr. Noraini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia. Yang berusaha Datuk Vincent Lim, President of CIS and Joint Organizer of ITEX 2022. Tansi Tan Sri, Datuk Datuk dan Datin Datin. Vice Chancellors from the various institutions of higher learning, professors, lecturers, teachers, researchers, inventors and students. All our valued ITEX, WYIE, AYIE and MYIE participants from Malaysia and abroad, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings from the 33rd International Invention, Innovation and Technology Exhibition, ITEX 2022 Malaysia. My heartiest, heartiest congratulations to all the nominees of ITEX 2022. World Young Inventors Exhibition WYIE, Asia Young Inventors Exhibition AYIE, and Malaysia Young Inventors Exhibition MYIE. I applaud all the winners for your amazing invention, and I hope for those who did not win will return next year, inspired and incentivized to present invention that will change our lives. This year, we are proud to see participation from the entire nation. One on the international front, 15 countries have joined the exhibition, signalling a revitalisation of the industry and rapidly rises post-pandemic. In this event, we are ensuring a thriving ecosystem for the best creative ideas, alongside entrepreneurs, policymakers, educators, and investors alike. To bring the relevant stakeholders under one roof, and we look forward to fruitful partnership and provide for a conducive environment to propel new ideas into commercial reality. I'm also pleased to share that the submission received show that 80% of my tech submission are ready for commercialisation, and 88% have their intellectual property rights. File at the same time, WYE submission are 68% ready for commercialisation, and 23% have filed for their IP rights. This is truly an encouraging process for innovation and invention. And with all humility, I wish to acknowledge that the impressive development be given the attention by the government to its ministry to ensure they move forward. With the nation STI agenda, ITEX held from 26 to 27 May this year in a hybrid format, physically at Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre, while ITEX online, which also commenced on 26 May, will remain live until 30th June 2022. Over the two days, they will experience amazing invention and winners breakthrough technologies created. By the remarkable minds of this generation of inventors, many were amazed with the invention showcase from the universities, research institutions, individuals, and corporation. Witnessing this, I am honoured that my little idea, born so many years ago, has now grown into an international, much-anticipated event that has served as A launch pad for many inventors. It was a pleasure to note that many delegates who visited the exhibition were in awe of the innovation. Most of those were the young inventors of the current exhibition: WYIE, AYIE, and MYIE. The youngest inventor joining us this time is only eight years old. The young inventors chapter. And ITEX sparked off as a personal aspiration to nurture the children of today to become the future-ready inventors of tomorrow. It has now grown from a national-level exhibition, MYIE, highlighting the talents of our school children, to a regional event, AYIE, for school children around the Asian region, and a global scale. WYE, all these three exhibitions aim 
to inspire innovative thinking and inventive spirit among school children as they come together on one platform to present their ideas in the form of prototypes, fervently hoping to capture the attention of venture capitalists and funders. The ITEX award ceremony is perhaps one of the biggest highlights of the exhibition, widely recognised and warmly saluted by the industry practitioners, funders and participants alike. The awards are separated into six categories, distinguishing the corporate, university, TVET, research institution, individual and international participants, as well as the secondary and primary school inventors under the WYE, AYE and MYE. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the judges for their commitment and their diligence in setting the standard for technology advancement. All the award finalists were selected based on a range of all-round evaluation criteria assessing the technological impact on society and the planet, energy efficiency efforts and contribution to carbon neutrality apart from the creativity and innovativeness of the product. Today, as we celebrate their achievement, I cannot help but be amazed that despite the two-year lockdown, the spirit of innovation is still very much alive and the creation of display here at ITEX 2022 are a testament that brilliant minds of our nation and in the region have embraced the dynamic environment around them and incorporated the burst of digitalization and technological growth into the products and solutions they bring us. The breakthrough technology on display, without doubt, echoes ITEX 22's theme this year beyond innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, I am especially in awe of the young inventors who join us under the WYE, AYE and MYE. It is important to ensure we support the talent they possess and provide them a platform to showcase their invention and connect them to the right channel of academic expansion to prospects for commercialization. This is how we progress our nation encourage the advancement of the next generation. Innovation can lead to sustainable economic growth, which can lead nations to achieve higher level of performance and well-being for their citizens. This is why we must give much importance to promote innovation at all levels. In 2021, Malaysia ranked 36, dropping three positions from 2020 in the Global Innovation Index. While we may be ahead of our regional neighbours, Thailand and Vietnam, which rank 43rd and 44th respectively, we are still far behind Singapore, rank 8 among most innovative nations of the 132 participating countries. We need to intensify efforts to step up innovation. Application for patents have dropped over the years with only 1,110 applications for patent and utility innovation received from local sources in 2020, as reported on MyPo website. While the government has shown a keen interest in growing research and development activities through budget allocation and the creation of in incubators and technology hubs, there is also a need to stimulate creativity among our youth to promote scientific and technological research. ITEX 2022 is an example of an important platform to showcase the creativity, innovation and inventiveness of our youth to hands-on making, tinkering and prototyping. More of such platforms need to be made available. To the Honourable Minister of Higher Education, Yang Bohaman Dato Sri Dr. Norani Ahmad and the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation Yang Bohaman Dato Sri Dr. Adam Baba and his ministry, we thank you for your support. We hope the government will join us in our effort to further stimulate the inventive spirit among students of higher education in Malaysia. Science fairs and young inventors program and competitors organize 
by the private sector, endorsed by the Ministry of Education to help stimulate interest in science, technology, mathematics, engineering, STEM. However, participation is still moderately low. Schools must do more to support and stimulate this culture and policy changes need to be implemented to entice participation from all schools with bigger budget allocation for rural schools to participate in young inventor competition on a national and international level. While incubator program and grant have been provided under budget 2022 stimulate inventive spirit and enhance the innovative ecosystem, similar program must be extended to suitable universities and TVET institution to obtain the financial support and professional guidance to create prototypes of their ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, the industry need more public-private enterprise partnership to promote, propel innovation, which is key to a nation's progress. Encouraging students from school to university level who are the future of the nation and investing in their remarkable capability will also put Malaysia on the map as an inventive and innovative society and a progressive community. Our gratitude goes out to those who have attended the award ceremonies and congratulate once again. I hope the awards will motivate the winners and spur all our participants to excel further and push the boundaries of technology and innovation for the better in the future. I look forward to seeing all of you here again next year. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and warm greetings. Yang bahagia Academician Emeritus Professor Tan Sri Datuk Dr. Agustin Ong Sun Hock, the organizer of ITEX 2022. Yang bahagia Datuk Vincent Lim, the joint organizer of ITEX 2022. Vice Chancellors from the various higher education institutions, academics, students, participants, members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I would like to thank the organizers, namely the Malaysian Invention and Design Society and CIS Network Sendahan Bahad for inviting me to deliver this speech at the 33rd International Invention, Innovation and Technology Exhibition Malaysia or ITEX 2022. I have been informed that the inventions have been assessed on the first day of the exhibition and among the criteria for judging include creativity, innovative spirit and ability to improve lives while cutting operational costs, energy usage, and preserving natural resources. Congratulations to all participants, and especially to the winners of this year's exhibition. I hope that everyone will continue to invent and innovate. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an urgent need to democratize access to quality science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or as we call STEM STEM, education for all students, as STEM is the catalyst for the development of any country. The percentage of students in STEM needs to be increased to ensure the country has a future-ready workforce, specifically with skills such as digital literacy and fluency. I'm grateful and proud of initiatives like ITEX and the World Young Inventors Exhibition for providing a platform for students to showcase their inventions to an audience of market players. 
The separate categories for each discipline also boost new inventors' confidence in presenting their ideas. I commend the implementation of YE for focusing on STEM activities among school students. Ladies and gentlemen, ITEX 2022 is indeed a success. I'm happy to see that the exhibition has garnered participation and attendance ranging from experts to primary school students. It is wonderful that we can host participants from all over the world, including Indonesia, South Korea, Qatar, Thailand, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and more. With the presence of industry practitioners, academicians, investors, venture capitalists, and various other visitors from diverse disciplines, the inventors can showcase their innovative technology with the opportunity for commercialization. The Malaysian government plays utmost importance on supporting and nurturing the inventive spirit. This year, RM423 million has been allocated to the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, or MOSTI, and the Ministry of Higher Education to intensify research and development activities. From this, RM295 million has been allocated for public universities to continue to play a role in the research and innovation ecosystem and to encourage collaborations with industries. The collaborations between the government, academia and industries will propel Malaysia as a top destination for investors. This will benefit all sectors, ensuring steady development for our society and our nation as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, a key area shaping future technology is climate change, as the world races to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I hope to see more innovations addressing this issue and being commercialized in the future. On that note, I would like to once again congratulate and thank the organizers for putting together this exhibition. I hope that everyone had a wonderful experience and a fruitful exchange of ideas. I look forward to seeing all of you again at ITEX 2023. With that, I thank you very much. <laughs>